Hi, EAC. This writing lesson is for all of you, all first, second, and third graders. We're all going to be working in this journal called my Young Authors Journal Toolkit. So you'll need that. You'll need a pencil. And then you'll just need some time for today's lesson and some other things that I'll talk to you about as we go through it, okay? So first thing you can do on here, you can get your name. You want to write your name on the top, you can do that. Glance through it. There's some different resources that we're going to use at different times um, throughout the lessons that we do. We're not using everything today. So there's some ideas for parents on the first page. There's a checklist here as we get into writing some more sentences and for the older kids, some paragraphs and things. There's some ideas in here to look through and check for to make sure that you have in your writing. Okay, so there's some more pages like that. When we're writing narrative, specific stories, there's some ideas in here that you need to include. Opinion and informational. We'll get to all this later on as we go through the lessons and we have more practice. Okay, there's some more pages that are just gonna to be tools to help us when we're going through. You'll see these come back in other lessons. There's a page of story starters. When we get into narrative writing, this might give you some ideas to get going with the beginning. Some more writing ideas of stories to tell about personal narratives, made up stories, some opinion starters, things you could possibly teach about for informational writing, lots of ideas like that. We'll go through that slower when we get to those types of writing. There's some commonly misspelled words, so if you have a word that you don't remember how to spell, it might be on this list. Homophones, the words that sound the same, but they're spelled differently and have different meanings. So eight and eight. I ate eight hamburgers, and then I was stuffed because that's too many. I want to be a teacher. Yesterday, when I was handing out curriculum, I got stung by a B. B and B sound the same. Blue and blue, the wind blew, but the sky is the color blue. So there's lots of those words that sound exactly the same. It's hard to know how they're spelled. So you can go through those when you're working on some writing and you're not sure which way it's spelled. Contractions, vocabulary. So there's lots of pages just to offer you some support in your writing. Okay, this is the page that I'd like to work on today. It says, things I want to write about. So today I'd like you to just spend some time gathering some ideas of things you might write about in the future. Okay, so some ideas to get you going. Some places you can look. Maybe walk around your house, look at some books. Other authors are usually a good inspiration for stories to create for yourself. And it's okay to copy parts of other stories and then add your own ideas in when you're getting going. After practicing some, the ideas will come easier, but it's kind of fun to write about things that you do know about. It helps a little bit. So maybe you wanna create a new adventure for Horton that he hasn't had before. So maybe you would take a story that you've already read about Horton, add to it, add some details, okay? Dr. Seuss always comes up with such fun animals, so that's one of my go-to ones. Maybe I want to write about another adventure of some turtles. It's also fun to see all the different talking animals and things and get creative inspiration. So maybe you find a story, a book series that you really like, and then that gives you some ideas to write on. So I'm going to write on my list that maybe a new adventure a new story for Horton, the elephant. Okay, um, maybe turtles are one of my favorite animals, so 
I could write information about turtles. I could come up with a turtle character that talks and write a story about that. Lots of different things I could do with turtles. Um, as you're walking around your house too, maybe look at things you have an interest in. So like I grabbed a baseball. I grew up playing softball. So maybe I want to write some stories about how to play softball or um, one time when I was, I think I was around I don't know, maybe 10 years old or so, my team won second place in the whole state. I lived in Oregon. Or out of the whole state, we won second place. So maybe I could write about um, that event and all the work we did to get to that event. Um, I play sometimes in the adult league, softball, and um, so maybe I could write a story about that. So I'm going to write down softball. Uh, the other great place to look for inspiration and ideas, especially if you're doing personal narratives, is to look through pictures or videos and see if there's an event you could write about. So one of the funniest things that happened on my beach trip was my daughter was digging in the sand and she was looking for shells. And so she found a shell that looked like um, the top of a crab. And so she started digging around it and dug it out. And then all of a sudden, the crab broke free. It was actually a whole complete alive crab. And I wish I had gotten it on video when she actually unburied it because the scream <laughs> that came out of her was pretty funny. <laughs> so, but it just got the crab walking afterwards, walking away, probably pretty upset with us that we had unburied it. <laughs> It was probably pretty well protected under the sand and was not amused that it had been unburied. Um, so I could write about my crab story at the beach. Okay, so talk with your family about stories you could write, funny things that have happened, small moments in your life that you know about things that you're interested in that you could be an expert on and teach somebody else about, um, just things that you like, and come up with a list. And then I'd like you to take a picture of that and put it into Seesaw so I can see your list of all your ideas. All right. Thank you, guys.